Good morning, Bitcoin. Today is Wednesday, July 3rd, 2019. My name is Thomas Hunt, and here's what's happening today in Bitcoin. The price of Bitcoin was up 6.04% in the last 24 hours, with a last of 11,496, a high of 11,563, and a low of 9,700. That's $1 for 8,712 satoshis our top story the overlooked reason the united states would struggle to ban bitcoin as kyle torpy writes in forbes magazine bitcoin is considered a free speech issue and it was long settled that you can hold any kind of ones and zeros in your pocket without the government knowing what you hold encryption is still legal as long as that's true you can always hold bitcoin Additionally, it seems like it's simply not possible for the United States to ban Bitcoin because they couldn't shut down Bitcoin without shutting down the entire Bitcoin and the entire Internet. Uh, as Bill Bardhart from <coughs> Abra says, excuse me, he says, it's just not possible. The government can't stop. The United States Supreme Court has already opined on this. You can't prevent people from holding ones and zeros on a device in their pocket. That ship has sailed. We already know that. What can they do? The question is, what can they do at the edge of the network? The on-ramps and off-ramps. The places where they exert control over the banking system, the exchanges, and the stable coins. That's right. The problem with Bitcoin has always been where it interacted with the fiat system. Nothing's wrong with Bitcoin. It's just the legacy system figuring out that it has no chance. Another article from Kyle Torpy writing at Forbes. Kraken CEO. Bitcoin price run powered by real demand, not tether manipulation. And things seem to be different this time for Bitcoin, whereas last time it was more of a retail run with normal users searching for and then buying Bitcoin. This time it seems to be larger institutions and banks who are taking a flyer on the fledgling cryptocurrency. It also doesn't appear to be Tether, the so-called stablecoin that's linked to Bitcoin, that seems to print more and more Tethers every time the price of Bitcoin goes up. If they then bought Bitcoin with those tethers, they would drive the price up more than printing more tethers. At least that was the theory last time. Bitcoin price dips below 10K with deeper losses likely. Omkar Godbull, Coinbase, Coindesk. Bitcoin price falls below 10,000 as a boost from Facebook's Libra fades. The Guardian. Oh, I don't want to subscribe to your newsletter. Bitcoin roller coaster continues as price dives below $10,000. Mashable. Bitcoin falls under 10800 as U.S. stock market sees minor downturn. Cointelegraph. And the price of Bitcoin up 15% overnight, climbing above $11,000 to $11,391 at press time. Uh, that's right. Maybe you didn't see it in your crystal ball. You should have checked your charts more carefully. Uh, you didn't see that the price of Bitcoin was going back up. Whoopsie. Uh, better luck next time, chart readers. And Chuck E. Cheese tokens are more valuable than Bitcoin. The restaurant rodent gives Bitcoin owners a lesson. Uh, first, we had the so-called innocuous tweet, which uh, CCN apparently doesn't know what product hunt is, you morons. Something called product hunt. Uh, something on the internet? Uh. Anyway, Ryan Hoover from Product Hunt says, Chuck E. Cheese tokens are cool, but I'd rather earn Bitcoin. Uh, linking to Satoshi's Games, the place where you can play games and earn Bitcoin. Chuck E. Cheese himself responded, To each his own fake currency. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, Crypto Graffiti wrote back showing a picture of self-sovereignty or the junk you can buy at Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, others saying that Chuck E. Cheese tokens are prettier than Bitcoin and that they look so much like Bitcoin that Snopes had to debunk a story as them being sold as actual Bitcoin. However, the writer of this article seems to be a class A moron saying that Bitcoin is a sucker's bet. Except for communist and socialist dictatorships, 
fiat currency isn't going anywhere. Hey, even if it did, Bitcoin won't help anyone in the coming in the subsequent societal collapse. Bitcoin's not a store of value. Value is not stored in anything when the value evaporates in a matter of minutes, as Bitcoin did last week and continues to do so today. Uh, um, um, continues to evaporate up 15 percent. Oh, oh, oh. Check your crystal ball again. Anyway, uh, he goes on saying baseball cards are a better store of value, uh, da, 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 and that Chuck E. Cheese rules, and he hates Bitcoin. Let's read some of the comments. Andrew Giles writes, You, sir, with all due respect, are just fucking stupid. It would probably be helpful to educate yourself on the topics on which you report. If a person were supposed to look at previous articles written by you, it's pretty clear to see that you have your personal feelings, beliefs, and or agenda. Whatever that may be, I truly don't care, but I'll leave you with this. <laughs> Good luck, lols. And uh, it's another ridiculous article. I guess down here they're saying that the article is satire. Uh, the article is uh, satirizing FUD. Uh, good one, I guess. Uh, not sure if it is satire or not, but uh, they need to work harder on it if it's satire. Uh, it is labeled as an op-ed not as a humorous piece so uh good luck with that funny article i guess from ccn uh we're about out of time but there's still a chance uh, for you to donate to our bitcoin donation drive uh we're collecting money to buy better gear better microphones and a mixer board uh, so that we can do better podcasts for you i would say that the fundraiser's gone up because we're now 60 percent towards our goal uh, but that's really just that the price of bitcoin went up and we happen to be holding uh, so please give us a donation. Get out your wallet right now. Uh, we have 15 donations. I'd love to say that we have 16 donations tomorrow. Uh, you could even donate an amount as small as 8,000 Satoshis thanks to our friends on the Lightning Network. Uh, or you can deliver 4 million Satoshis. It's all up to you. Uh, you can use Bitcoin. Uh, send us a couple bucks. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, this has been Today in Bitcoin. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and a share. Subscribe down below. Bye-bye.